Hello students, uh, this is Sujit Gupta and uh, I am going to discuss ray optics and optical instruments with you. So first of all we are going to discuss optics. What is optics? Simply optics is the branch of physics in which we are going to discuss about the phenomena related to light ray. I want to I want to concentrate on the word ray because in this chapter we are going to discuss the phenomena of light considering light as a ray. We are going to con consider that light travels in a straight line and it does not have any wave like nature. So it definitely travels in straight line. So uh, the first thing what we are so the first thing what we are going to discuss today is the reflection of light. So our heading will be reflection so reflection of light. Uh, reflection of light can be considered as the retracing back of a light from any object, any obstacle into the same medium. Okay so uh, it is like uh, suppose I have placed a straight mirror this is my mirror this is a straight line passing through now if this uh, green line is uh, perpendicular to my mirror suppose I incident a light ray like this is the light ray so uh, what happens in reflection is that my light ray will retrace back his its path from mirror in the same medium. So this is my mirror, this is my medium 1 and this is like my medium 2. So uh, it is going to retrace its path back in the same medium. So my reflected right will be something like uh, these are definitely the straight lines and these are the ray of light R okay so uh, there are uh, two laws of reflection so the, our next topic is laws of reflection the first law states that the incident ray the normal ray and the reflected ray all lie in the same plane so it is like incident ray normal and the reflected ray all lie in the same plane okay uh, it means that uh, <coughs> all the three uh, three lines uh, the two uh, this uh, my incident ray in the in diagram we can see my incident ray this green is the normal to the mirror and this is the reflected ray all three lies in the same plane so I think it's clear second point is angle I equals to angle R. It is simply like that what is angle I? Angle I is the angle made by the incident ray with the normal and angle R is the angle made by reflected ray with the normal. Both these angles will always be equal and mind I would like to point one thing that these laws of reflection are always applicable either it is a plane mirror or it is any spherical mirror which are we, which we are going to discuss uh, later in this topic only so we are going to discuss the spherical mirrors later on but I would like to say that all the two laws of reflection these two laws of reflections are same and are applicable for both for all types of reflection. So let's move to our next topic which is reflection at 
spherical surfaces. Reflection at spherical surfaces. So what are spherical surfaces? Spherical surfaces are of two types. These are convex and concave. So our first topping heading will be concave mirrors. Okay. So concave mirror. It is something like this is the curved part and I shine the outer part. If I shine the outer part then the reflection will take place in the inner part only and this will work as my concave mirror. Next is convex mirror. Again what I am going to do is just turn the surface and I am going to shine the inner part. I am going to shine this part. Then reflection will take place again from the outer part and this is something a convex structure. So these are the two types of mirror which we are going to discuss in our spherical mirrors topic. So now let's discuss the type of image formation by these mirrors. So our topic is image formation by concave. So uh, I would like to point out that if this is my concave mirror and this is the normal if this is a normal then the point at which this normal meets the mirror is known as principle of the mirror and is denoted by P. After that uh, there is a point of curvature known as C and in between them there is focus F. Similarly for convex mirror again there will be a normal passing through pole passing through pole so again my pole will be here focus will be focus will be now on this side image formation by concave mirror so there will be different cases let's discuss the first one object at infinity. Now the object at infinity it means that the ray of light are coming parallel because uh, definitely infinity is not possible for anything but uh, uh, if I talk about concave mirror after curvature there is no any specific point. So if I place my object very much far away from my center of curvature then the object will act like it is placed at infinity. So what I consider is that the object which is at infinity the rays of light coming from it will always be the rays of light coming from it will always be parallel. Again I am going to draw my principal axis. This will be my principal axis. Now the two rays. I consider only two rays, rays coming from it will be like this. Always mark arrows on them. So concave mirror after reflection my focus will be somewhat so after reflection what will happen the parallel rays always pass through the parallel rays always pass through focus so the image will be formed at focus because uh, the rays of light after reflection passes through focus so image will form at focus and what will we say about the size of image. The size of image will be, I can see that it is uh, like point size of point size image. So I would say what about image? At focus uh, diminished 
and it will be real let's move to next case in which i will place my object beyond c so object is beyond c c is my center of curvature c there are difference in these two cases uh, definitely in first case also my object is was behind center of curvature but it was far far away from center of curvature that's why i considered my object to be at infinity now in second case it is not much far from center of curvature and it is just like at a very small distance from center of curvature so again my convex mirror my convex mirror outer side shiny there will be principal axis and uh, let's mark the focus and center of curvature so this is my focus this is my center of curvature now my object is so what here beyond c so the base will be marked as a and height will be marked as b so uh, <coughs> for making the image i need two rays so first ray will be parallel to principal axis which i know after reflection pass through the focus and the second ray definitely mark the arrows all every time second ray uh, the second ray one more property of spherical mirrors is that whenever a light ray passes through center of curvature it just retraces its path means if a ray passes through center of curvature then after reflection also it passes through center of curvature only so this is my center of curvature i will pass my ray something like this after reflection it will retrace its path so they are intersected here so my image will be formed at this place the top will be b dash and the bottom will be a dash so now what can i say about my image it is between c and f it is real and inverted c what do you mean by inverted i can see my object is at a and b it is just above the principal axis but after reflection the image is formed below the principal axis so this is known as inverted image the third property is it is again diminished let's discuss third case object is at c c is center of curvature so this time i am going to place my object at the center of curvature so this is my concave mirror outer side shiny again i am going to make my principal axis these are the basic things which i have to repeat again and again whenever i make my image formation so focus and curvature this will be my focus this will be my curvature now as i already stated my object will be at c so this is my object again two light rays one passing through passing parallel to principal axis and after reflection passes through focus so this one after reflection passes through focus another way this time i can't pass my ray through center of curvature because the center of curvature itself is at my object is itself at center of curvature so i will pass my next ray 
through focus and after reflection it will pass through the center of curvature so um, again I get my two reflected rays and my object will be A so A B are my image and again A dash and B dash is my image so now what can I say about my image form that at C same size let's talk about fourth position that is between C and so uh, this time my object is between C and this will be my principal axis again focus and this is focus this is center of the picture so object will be in between C and F one ray of light passing parallel again another ray of light I would pass through focus and it goes parallel to principal axis so my image will be found at beyond C so A B A dash B dash so what can I say about my image now between beyond C it will be as I can see it is magnified so image will be filed next is again it is real and inverted next case this time object is at focus again concave mirror principal axis focus this time my object is at focus right ray parallel to principal axis passes through focus and what about next light now I can't take my uh, I can't take my light ray from C passing through C I also can't take my light ray passing through F so I will simply incident my light at pole so what I can see that these two light rays are never meeting each other it is like they are parallel to each other so where will they meet they will meet at infinity at infinity so what about image it is at infinity another highly magnified again real and inverted let's discuss the last case that is my object is at is between pole and focus so again a convex mirror concave mirror and this will be my focus object will be at between pole and focus so it will be something like here two parallel rays one parallel to it will pass through focus another at pole it will be away so now I can see that these two rays are diverging they are not meeting at the same side of mirror so what I will do I will produce it beyond it will be something like this and another way so I can see my 
two rays being produced on the back side get intersected at this point and hence my object will my image will form at this point so if this is a this is b this is a dash this is b dash so now what i can say about my image is virtual and erect magnified beyond middle i will not specify any other position than saying that it is just beyond mirror okay so that's all about the reflection from concave mirror now that's all for today in next class we are going to discuss about reflection from convex mirror and many more things thank you for today